Hey there, here is your vlog for the day. I'm not out of bed yet, so you have to overlook my appearance. Been awake for a while, had my morning tea. I'm just not up yet because, well, that's how I roll. I'm a slow starter. <laughs> anyway, what I was thinking about is this. I was reading a far side, you know, as you, many of you know, I like to do. And uh, one of the far sides that I saw was two parts. The upper part had these little daisies, so pretty. And it said, how we see the flowers. And they were all, like I said, just pretty little flowers, like you see, little for a cartoon. <laughs> and then down below is how the flowers see themselves. And each flower had a crazy, ugly face on it. And, you know, that is exactly what we do. I mean, I did it myself. I apologize for my appearance, which honestly is really no different from any other time, I guess, really. But that's what we do. You know, we see ourselves not the way we're seen by others, but, you know, the way it's filtered through. Now, some people may be lucky and they see themselves as gorgeous no matter what. But some people, Leo, as I was looking at you, <laughs> just kidding. But not all Leos. I'm just kidding. Okay, but, um, you know, most of us, I think, you know, you look at me and you just see old Ange, you know, but I look at me and I might see that age spot or that age spot or, you know, or what, these wrinkles or whatever. You know, we see ourselves, we go right to the flaw, we go right to the part that isn't, we don't just see the whole picture and the, the personality maybe that lies underneath, you know. So I think that we have to retrain ourselves to see ourselves in such a positive way because we project that positivity and then I think other people react to that positivity and then I think that leads us all to a better outcome in whatever we're doing and however we see ourselves. If you see yourself as less than, and I'm not talking about your physical look now, but if you see yourself as less than, it makes it harder for you to... I think do well in the world <clears throat> due to, you know, not feeling that you're um, what you need to be. And I think, you you know, you have to correct that. You have to start seeing yourself in a light that is a, a positive light, even if it feels really weird to do that. Now, you know, I've told you before, you look in the mirror every day. <laughs> And you say, good gosh, you're good looking or some such thing. And I am serious as a heart attack. You need to do it. If you don't want to do that, do something else. You know, do, you know what's your life? I don't care what you do, what you want to do. I do care, but what you're going to do about it, right? So you got to kind of change your thoughts, and that's one step. But also, you got to monitor those thoughts, and you got to catch yourself when you say things like, you know, I can't do this or I can't do that. Sometimes it is a true thing, and there it is. But sometimes you got to remember, can't never could do nothing. So you got to kind of change your thoughts and say, yes, I can. I can see myself as, as a beautiful person inside and out. And once you start projecting that, you know, the opposite works. You know, I used to, when I was a kid on the school bus, I saw this gal getting off the bus in a new girl. And I thought, man, she is beautiful. That is a beautiful girl, you know. Probably within a week or two, I thought, she is uglier than homemade sin. <laughs> And her looks hadn't changed a bit, but she just did not. She was just not giving off the vibe of a good person and a, a nice person. She may have been, and I was a kid, but you know her personality, and you probably know people like that too. Just kind of ruined it, and she just became a person that didn't even look good anymore because of her snobby old ways. I don't even know her name. Good. But I anyway, hope she had a good life, whatever. But the point of this story is how you see yourself affects the way other people see you. And in order to get your best experience, try to see yourself in a positive light. Develop whatever technique works for you to help monitor and change the way you see yourself. If you are not seeing yourself in your best light. You know, this leads me to another thought. Old Martin, Martin the <laughs> Yorkawawa, <laughs> who is, God bless him, he ain't right. But, you know, he wants to bark at people and everything. And it's not that he's evil. He's just being a good boy and protecting us, you know, from the, the dreaded clients, maybe, that come and take up the space, you know. But really, he was raised by chihuahuas. That's, that's his problem. But anyway, really, it's sad because once in a blue moon, for reasons that nobody understands, he actually will walk to somebody and ask them to pet him. And uh, 
I always tell people, pet at your own risk, but honestly, he's never acted badly when he does that. He really wants to be petted, and he's really sweet. It's rare <laughs> that he does it, but it's really sweet. The point of this story is there's so many people that love little dogs and would love to pet him, love to, but he ruins it for himself because he refuses to allow somebody to, to, he refuses to believe, let me put it this way, that anybody would want to pet him or would be friendly to him or who would like him. He refuses to believe that that is a possible thing. He just decides everybody's out to get him. And he cheats himself because of that. Okay, anyway, don't be a Martin. Don't be a Martin. Be a Kevin or a Susie who will just absorb all the attention they can get. Okay, that's it, people. That's the vlog for today.